A worker hanging Christmas decorations is taken on a wild ride when a thief steals a bucket truck. Megan Mangello is live in Elmwood Place where this whole ordeal started. Megan. Well, Cammy, good evening. We are actually live at the Cincinnati Zoo near Vine Street, where the worker managed to get out his phone from his pocket and call for help. That worker is very lucky. And take a look at why. We have surveillance video from a business near Elmwood Place, and you can actually see the worker hanging off the side of the truck, crossing from the lowered bucket into the bed of that truck there. Now, we also got video of that same worker wearing an orange hat when the chase ended. He was checked out by firefighters and taken to a hospital as a precaution. Now, the worker, who hasn't been identified, was hanging a blue snowflake on a telephone pole in the village of Elmwood Place when he was up in a bucket. And a man who police now say is Dennis L. Smith Jr. jumped in the truck and took off driving. Cincinnati police chased that truck, put down stop sticks to flatten the tires, and the truck crashed in the 1700 block of Vine Street near Elder. Now, when that worker called for help, he actually called his manager in Elmwood Place, who then called 911. This is Sheila with the village of Elmwood Place. We just got a call from our maintenance worker that he is in our bucket truck uh, on Vine Street, and, and somebody uh, stole the bucket truck on Vine Street heading towards St. Bernard. That worker went for about a six mile ride. This whole thing started at 1047 this morning and by 1056 the suspect was in custody. So it happened very quickly. Cincinnati police worked hard to stop the chase and catch the suspect in under nine minutes. Reporting live along Vine Street, Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. All right, Megan, thank you. That's a crazy story. Smith is now charged with kidnapping, theft, and failure to comply, and he is in the Hamilton County.